Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. My name is Charles, you can call me Charles if you like, and today we will be doing a little bit of greed mode. Um, to unlock the character Lilith here, we have to defeat greed mode with Azazel. So we'll give it a shot. May as well, right? Uh, greed mode is very much so different than any other mode. It's moreover based on money. Oh, I forgot that we can get hit by pressing that button. As I tend to forget. I'm playing horribly so far. Hopefully we can stop being so bad. As you can see, there is a clock timer on that. When that timer would have reached zero, the next wave would have spawned, even if we didn't kill everything. So it is pretty easy to get overwhelmed on this, to say the least. Mullabooms, isn't that exactly what I was looking for? These guys, not actually too bad because they tend to destroy themselves relatively quickly. This is actually my first time doing green mode on this account, so I think I will be absolutely destroyed by most everything. But you gotta get Lilith somehow, am I right? Oh boy. Come on. Perfect. Mr. Dip. This is the final wave here. There we go. Then we can do the boss wave next, and then after that, I believe there is another wave for the deal with the devil. We'll take that. We will do one reroll, pick up a key, of course. Head into our item room. We can also get this free item room here, which is speed. Good enough. Hopefully we can stop being so bad. Check in here for some bombs. Homing bombs as well. Moreover, just the five bombs. Mega fatty here. Not quite the type of boss I would like to be fighting. Simply because of our range. At least they give us plenty of time to do it. Ah, uh, sucked me in at a bad time. There we go. I saw that one coming that time. Avoid all of his extreme aerial attacks. Oh boy. Polycephalus and Mega Fatty at the same time. Oh, how did we get hit? We were absolutely on top of that rock. Alright, well this is going to be a substantially more difficult time now. We have to listen to... Okay. Well, fantastic. <laughs> Let's try it with a different character. Uh, Azazel, I think, is a tough character to be showing off. Let's try it with Maggie, who I don't think is much easier, honestly. But thanks to the Yum Heart, hopefully she'll be somewhat decent. Luck down, isn't that nice? Are you a wizard? Balls of Steel is actually quite good. Power Pill, I wish I knew it was Power Pill before I had used it. Let's see what we have in our shop. Chaos would be quite good. The box would be decent. A lot of these would be decent. Alright, let's go into our curse room. Get a Algiz rune. Pop out, use our spacebar item. Oh, we're still in the Are You a Wizard? I forgot. Oh, there we go, now we're not. Alrighty. Hopefully we can take care of these flies. Ugh getting hit, but unfortunately that was not in the cards for us. More flies here. Flies I don't mind too much. Perfect. Actually managed to destroy them before the time ran out. Maggie in greed mode, I would assume, is relatively decent. Uh, she's a little slow here, which is a problem, but hopefully it will not be a problem for long. Oh boy, Mullaboons. 
Yep, that one was expected. We're actually faster than the Moa Booms? How does that happen? Oh, this isn't even the final wave. These guys are going to be super annoying. Yep, this is the final wave. The most annoying of them all. I'm surprised with our dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodging skills so far. We're actually not doing half bad. Okay, this is the final wave even. Wow. This is utter destruction. This is what it looks like to be completely destroyed. We need to hunker down. Sort of build ourselves a fort. We need to destroy these Joey men. We need to destroy everything, I should say. Alright, this is uh, this is not going too hot. I need to practice greed mode, obviously. This is just uh, atrocious. I don't think you need me to tell you that, but... <laughs> Alright, we should be fine. Maybe? Hopefully we'll be alright. Perfect. Alright. Somehow we made it. <laughs> Barely made it, but made it. Take this red heart. I feel like we're gonna need it. Take this half red heart as well. Then, I guess we'll take Chaos. I don't think it really does much for us, but we'll take it. We would like to get something good here. Terror, or starter deck, I mean. Alga's Rune. So that's double the Alga's Rune for us. Which is quite nice. Uh, if we get swamped like that again, we will absolutely be uh, using our Alga's Rune. Wow. Alright, I am actually getting hit against Finn. This is something that never happens. I think I'm just a little flustered right now. Alright, Pen. Great. Monstro. May as well use our Algus Rune. Not because I feel like we particularly need it, but because I'd rather be safe. And this is the final boss wave, which is very nice for us. Up next, we can do another wave of bosses for a deal with the devil. I don't know if we want to. Look at our damage. This is just pitiful. We've been sitting here wailing on Monstro forever, and we're doing zero to him. Absolutely nothing. Hopefully we can get him to go down soon. There we go, there goes Monstro. Oh, we just have this pale man over here. A little, uh, little Isaac head, I guess. I don't think greed mode is meant to be this hard. I'm just terrible at it because I haven't played very much of it. Pick up this money. Come up in here. May as well get the box so we could get some health from it. We do indeed get some health from it. The sun, that's actually fantastic. Hanged man. Isaac's fork is probably better than that. We can play him once for free. And then we, of course, can sun card back to full health. Hmm. We would love to get a key. But uh, I don't foresee that happening right now. I guess we can use a bomb here and hope for a little bit of money. No money, unfortunately. Well, uh, two cents, but not enough money, I should say. We need one more cent, and I don't know if we have anywhere... Oh. Well, I would like to get a key for the next floor. Oh well. Do we deal the deal with the devil? I guess. Could be fun. Already getting hit. Lust is much faster than us, as we can see. Oh, that's Hanged Man. That's not our Alga's room. Oh, boy. 
I thought that was our Algo's room. Okay. Well, Maggie, your life may not be long. I hope it is, <laughs> but uh, you may not be long for this world, Maggie. Actually, just against Larry Jr., I think we should be fine. Jr. here is not being too difficult for us, thankfully. I think we should be fine in taking him out. If we don't get very far in this uh, greed mode run, then I think I'm going to start up a challenge. That's good for us. We like the HP. Don't like the spiders, though. But the HP is good. Ugh. I'm playing like booty right now. I apologize for that. Maybe we can get another scent from one of these poops. Even though I doubt it because Larry Jr. spawned them, and the ones that Larry Jr. spawn don't give us money very often. So I guess we're going down. <clears throat> Not too bad. Caves. What do we get in our item rooms? Okay, Guppy's head. And... Cube of meat. Alright, that's fine. I guess Guppy's head is more useful right now. Let's see what we got in here. Another Guppy item. If we could become Guppy, I think we could uh, have a chance on this. Guppy is that good. Alright, seven cents is good. That's not really what I was looking for. That should go without say. I think we're good enough to try one. It shouldn't be too tough. Oh, I didn't even see what was up there. Unfortunately, what was up there turned out to be what I did not want to see. There we go. Good job, Cuban Meat. We are getting sniped at by these guys. Well, not much I could have done there. That's fine, though. Much preferred that. There we go. A bunch of these guys. This is the last wave here. Barely made it out of the way of that man's blast radius. And we did not make it out of the way of that one, though. Did that one. We do have our second guppy item in here. Which we sort of have to take. And then hope for the third guppy item eventually. I think we need the uh, spirit heart in this scenario. Don't think we need another one. Simply because these rounds with bosses, in my opinion, tend to be a little bit easier. Because I'm more accustomed to fighting the bosses. Even more than one boss at once, I dare say, is probably a little bit easier because I'm more used to it. Even though we don't have very good damage right now, I still stand by what I say. Pin is almost deceased, which shouldn't be something to really be proud of because Pin is one of the easiest bosses in the game. He would have absolutely destroyed him there. Oh, great. I don't know if these are the Girdlings or if these are the Turdlings. I couldn't get out of the way of that bomb. Unfortunate. I believe these are just the gir girdlings. Girdlings, one or the other. I don't know why those bombs keep spawning. I, I don't think we have uh, Curse of the Tower, but I guess we may.
I have no idea what is spawning those explosives. Oh boy. Oh, we barely hit that bomb out of the way. Oh, thank you, bomb. For some reason, we have unlocked this cellar. Not entirely sure why. But we'll come up in here, we'll pick up this spirit heart. Huh. Not really anything else I see of value there. Whoops. Spawned into him, unfortunately. This is the only fight we have, so a double Teratoma shouldn't be too bad. Uh, hopefully we'll be fine here. We do have our Elga's rune, if things get down to it. Oh, I thought we were far enough away. This will eventually just come down to a bunch of bomb flies. That's pretty much all this fight is. I'm trying to focus on one... Uh, on, on one Teratoma. But now I think we can just go buck wild considering we're at half a heart. So I will be absolutely spamming our cube of meat here in hopes of destroying the Teratoma segments quicker. I think it's going quite well. <clears throat> Alga's rune with the cube of meat is phenomenal, as usual. Any sort of invincibility with a... with a cube of meat or a ball of bandages, something along the sort, is very good. Apologies for the train. That's actually a super loud one. I don't know what's... Uh, what the need is to be that loud right now, but <clears throat> apologies. Oh boy, great. Got a little Incubus man back here shooting at us. One of my least favorite enemies in the game. But we made it through. Latchkey gives us a spirit heart, and I think the miter is just generally fantastic. It gives us, whoops, left the keys back there. That is incredibly bad play. Ugh. That's terrible. I think Gimpy would be fantastic in this uh, format here, but oh well. I don't foresee us grabbing it, so. Oh. Okay. Well. I'm clearly very good at greed mode. Absolutely the boss of greed mode, as you can see. I think we need HP in this situation. Hopefully we have a half-priced key up here. We do not. We have a regularly priced key. Hopefully we get a penny then. Ooh, Guppy's Paul would be fantastic. Guppy's Paul would actually be uh, an S-tier item for us simply because it would turn us into Guppy. As well as allowing us to get just a ton of spirit hearts because of our current HP situation, we would be we would be sitting pretty if we could get that. This is not going too well. I am of course hopeful, but you know we could be doing a lot better right now. We even still have one of these guys left, one of these wall men. Well, at least the waves aren't spawning anything too bad yet. These sort of uh, spiraling Black Joey guys here, uh, I don't think are too bad. Alright. That was really bad to be clipped by right at the end of it. There we go. Unfortunately, this isn't even our last wave. Oh boy. This is going phenomenally for us. Oh, didn't notice the bats. Just gonna get the heck out of dodge. I would like to be focusing down the Spider-Man, but I feel like we need to be getting rid of these bats before we can get in any accurate uh, shots, which is bad. Thankfully this is the end though, 
and we do indeed have enough to become Guppy. There we go. Hopefully the Gupster will be able to save us. Perfect. Guppy, here we are. I think we should use it once. And then get a key, of course. Head in here. A speed upgrade is not really what we were looking for. I mean, it's not bad as Nike, but we can fly, so speed is less important now. Our damage has improved greatly thanks to the flies from becoming Guppy, of course. Hopefully now we can do a little better. At least we're destroying these enemies within the allotted time. That's an improvement. Brownie here is quite annoying, but I don't think we'll be annoying enough. Oh, I walked right into that. Alright, then we get this man, who goes down very easily. Perfect. Not enough money for anything, so let's go ahead and fight our devil rune here. Oh, that was bad. Would like to take out him first, as we do indeed find ourselves able to. That's bad as well. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Oh boy. I saw it last second that he was charging up there. Oh, we get our deal with the devil. And in here we get one up and we get this Spider Man. I don't know which one we would want more. I guess we want Spider Man. Just because the slowing effect is quite good. Now we will come back in here and use this, I guess. Hope for the best now. Hmm. I would love to get the pentagram here, but I don't think we have the stability to in terms of financial, our financial situation. So down we go, unfortunately. Ooh. Ooh. Much appreciated. Stigmata would be fantastic. And we get a free key. That's very nice. We would really enjoy getting Stigmata here, so I think that's what we'll be going for. Another guppy item. And a <laughs> another guppy item. Wow. We have every guppy item aside from the hairball. That's fantastic. There should be a super mega guppy. Whoops, I had waited on the button for too long. That's unfortunate. So our money bonus goes down, unfortunately, and a lot goes down there. That was bad. Didn't mean to be standing there. Gotta remember to use our space bar as often as we have it. Right, you are the other one, I can see you. Oh boy, I can't see you though, apparently. This could be going way better. I mean, I guess it could be going a lot worse, but it could absolutely be going a lot better. Okay, we made it by that. Unfortunately, we don't have Spectral Tears. I would love Spectral Tears. I like that sometimes they're spawning over on that sort of desolate land. In No Man's Land over there. 
I need to get rid of these Joey guys badly. They just won't stop and they don't give me any time to uh, destroy them. I don't, I, I mean, we barely got that. Okay, well, we're getting absolutely destroyed here. Mainly by these Joey guys who are popping up in the worst possible places consistently. You gotta go, little red men. Seriously. You gotta go. They just don't give you any time to shoot at them, which is the problem. I hope that was the last one. It was, thankfully. Now we can come up here, get something. Stigmata, of course. Tammy's head. I don't think Tammy's head would be very good, uh, looking at our tears. And we don't have any reroll machines in here, unfortunately. So, I don't think we're really going to be getting anything very good from that. <clears throat> Although I would like a different spacebar item. I don't think that's quite the one we should be using to be replacing ours because the one we have now is significantly better than that one, of course. We only have 10 or so seconds to defeat War here before more bosses spawn. Alright, more bosses are indeed spawning as he is chasing us down. Oh, okay, it's just Skull Lex. Just Skolex isn't too bad, even if it is two of them. Oh boy. We are of course hoping for more of those booty shots. For an easier time at taking them out. Unfortunately, Skolex is kind of annoying when he doesn't reveal himself in a way for us to shoot him effectively, or efficiently, or easily even. And whenever he does tend uh, to do those shots where it is just himself and his exposed red parts, it seems that the other one jumps in such a manner as to cover him, which has been incredibly annoying because it's been very successful so far. As I just said, there it was, right before your eyes. Thank goodness we got Guppy. That's all I can say. There we go, that's what we were looking for. The double booties that allowed us to take one out. Now there's just one Skull X, which is significantly easier than two Skull X. Simply because we can focus on that. slowing tears. I don't know if they're helping or if they're hindering at this point. At least we're getting off good damage when he does that attack. Of course, when he does that attack, we cannot actually hurt him. We can still slow him somehow, though. That's funny. There we go. This is, of course, the attack we are looking for to get some serious damage in. And we have successfully, partially slowed him. Here we are now. I don't remember if this is the boss wave or if this is the deal with the devil wave. I can't quite uh, remember. I think this is just the boss wave. But I am not entirely sure. There we go. Yep, this was the boss wave. Okay. What do we have in here that we would want? I guess we would rather have the speed upgrade if we have to choose between Tammy's head and the speed upgrade. So, Ceremonial Rose would be phenomenal. That would be so good for us. So if we can get enough money... Oh, this is Mom's heart. If we can get enough money to get that, then I would be ecstatic. But instead, we will just die and come back with nine lives. Oh well. Let's try it again. Unfortunately, if we get hit a couple times here, we are dead, but we have nine lives, so 
We do have that going for us. This is going to be a tough fight. Hopefully we can get through it. I don't uh, put too much money on myself, but, you know, hopefully. Slowed Mom seems okay. Slowed Mom is not quite as effective as I thought it was going to be. But we can't really do anything else. Unless we don't really want to deal with the devil, then we can just go. Which I guess is fine. I mean, I guess we don't really need to deal with the devil, right? May as well scoot. We don't even have HP to trade away. We just wanted to get ceremonial robes. Okay. Well, this is not quite going that, uh, how I wanted it to, but that's alright. Oh, we don't have any bombs. Hmm. Nothing I really see here that we're going to want. There we go. Don't have any keys either. We have HP now though. So that's good. We are now on the shoal equivalent here. Hopefully we can take down these Incubus lookalikes here relatively quickly. Thankfully we can. It's just this man left. We have some invisible followers here. Not bad. Uh, unfortunately, I believe I was tagged by the fire. We have to take out these hearts before we can take out those masks. Because these are indeed masks of... Well, I don't want to say Mask of Infamy, this isn't the Mask of Infamy, but these are masks of a similar a uh, similar style. Uh, I saw you hiding down there, Masks, thinking you could get away. These guys are quite annoying. They spawn a large amount of spiders. horrendous. What is left? Oh, there's some spiders up here. And a guy that spawned sp spiders. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get out of this A-OK. -okay. And we can. And we can take this money and purchase I would like the Holy Grail. Just for... Oh, I pretty much just took that for HP. But that's fine. Uh, we would also like a key. I don't think that we really need anything else here. X-ray vision is worthless. So HP is what we would probably be going for there. Uh, this shouldn't be too tough. Ooh, that was unfortunate though. We will try our best regardless. Hopefully we can take these guys out before it spawns again. You gotta stay mobile against these guys, which is what I'm trying to do, but sometimes it's a little tough. They don't really have a tell for when they're gonna do their different attacks. Well, unfortunately, we couldn't quite take them out. Oh, but they took out the Carrion Queen for us, so thank you. I appreciate that. Carrion Queen is quite the annoying boss, so I appreciate you guys taking her out for me. Okay, well, I'm not entirely sure what have hit us there. Hopefully we can just take this guy out. We did indeed. Whoa. Oh, we didn't, actually. Now we did. Hopefully we can take this man out before we likely perish again. And... So close. There we go. We got him. 
Oh, there's just a couple leapers left. Perfect. Eight cents. Uh, I would rather have a key than an HP upgrade right now. And hope for something good in here. That's a lot of damage either way. I think uh, the head is the bigger damage upgrade. Which unlocks us the Parasite. That's cool. Parasite is a fun item. Three cents. Do we have a three cent red heart? We do. I'll take that. Um, we don't really need the deal with the devil. So I guess we just move on. I mean, it's not really what I want to do, but we don't really have the economy to do anything else. This is a weird run. <laughs> I don't know how we're going down to the chest. This is just odd. In our shop, we have Champion's Belt, which would be good. I don't really think that would be very good. Uh, judgment, we don't really need right now. Hopefully we get something uh, easy for our enemies. Because we are out of items. Whoops, that was terrible. Alright, I just hope that we can make it down to the final boss so you can see him. I don't even care if we die to him, I just want the audience to see him. Just because he's very funny looking. Oh, damn. Thankfully hands aren't too tough. It's just that these variants of hands are quite ignorant. Oh. Envy here. Envy in 10 seconds, really? Are you seeing this tomfoolery? Envy in 10 seconds. What kind of damage do you gotta be doing to be de destroying Envy in 10 seconds? Not our kind of damage, I'll tell you that much. We do still have 8 lives left, so even if we perish, we still have plenty of lives to keep on going. Up to 13 cents now. Almost enough for Champion's Belt. Which is probably what we're going to be getting. Hopefully we can do a little better this time. Take these guys out quicker, maybe. There's one. There we go. These are those hands once more. Oh, there were two hands. I thought there was only one that time. second one took a very long time to come down, then. Perfect. Uh, I think for now we're just going to leave Envy as a whole segment and attempt to destroy these guys and then leave Envy for last. I think that's the most effective route that we can do so that we don't just have a bunch of Envy bits flying around at us. Oh great, more hands. I sincerely hope that it's only the two hands. It looks like it's only the two, or at least I have only seen the two. Oh, okay. Well, unfortunate. There's a secret room in there? Hello? Huh. That's odd. We got a secret room. Alright. I mean, I guess that's fine. Champion's Belt is more damage. Would like to get an HP upgrade. Well, let's keep going, I guess. Hopefully our newly acquired damage will be handy dandy for us here. I think it will be. Remember that there are two hands. One and two. One and up. Oh. Only killed one, so there is still a hand coming. Whose damage is going to kill Envy in 10 seconds? I want to know, because I want the run that's going to kill Envy in 10 seconds. Did we destroy that hand? Or am I just going crazy? I think we destroyed the hand, so I don't think we really need to be running around. Whoops. That was quite unfortunate. Well, that was even worse. At least we tried. We'll keep going. We got five tries left. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, we got the hands first this time. That's fine. Probably better than getting the ghosties. The ghoulies. 
Alright. Take you out, and then we got Envy here. You know what? We're actually not doing that bad of damage, especially with Champion's Belt and our Flies. Our Flies are doing a ton of damage. We just need to be able to spawn them quicker, I think. More hands. This is scary. Uh, I thought we would have been able to kill the Guppy segment there. The little hand segment. I think we come in here. We got a bed. We don't really need it, but good to know there's a bed in there. We're skipping over a couple, it looks like. Because now we're starting with Envy. That was bad. Oh, don't spawn me in here. Don't do that to me. Well, that was horrible. <laughs> Alright, well, at least it didn't spawn me in there again. It's starting us on Envy now. How odd. I mean, I'm grateful, but it's odd. We only have a couple lives left, of course. Envy, I would like you to be incredibly ultra deceased. I think we tagged that little Envy segment with our Cuban meat. Got a little greedy there, tried to do too much with the Cuban meat. Now we have hands. The hands are going to give us the hands. If I had to guess. Alright. One and two hands. Perfect. Oh boy. Ah, unfortunate. We were getting there. We were getting there. Last couple lives now. I'm gonna see if I can't leave Envy alone this time, like my original plan was. Alright, now we have the ghost men. The ghostly trio. Unfortunately, the leave Envy alone plan was not quite a success. Considering our flies are in full effect. Whoop, there's a hand, there's a hand. Thankfully, we can fly. This is getting chaotic as usual. I don't know if we actually killed both hands, but I'm not seeing any shadows right now. So I'm hoping we did. What is left? There's these guys left. I think we killed all the shadows. We're actually doing pretty well right now. Surprisingly. Looks like this is the one. What is left? We have another one of these guys, and we have a fly and a bomb fly. Perfect. Oh, we still have another one to do. Oh, boy. <laughs> Isn't that nice? We do have bombs. We may as well take a stab at that, get five cents total. Blow up Judgment here. Get a Spirit Heart and a ton of money. Wow, thank you, Judgment. Holy Water. Ugh. Why would we ever want that? In no scenario would I ever want Holy Water. Uh, hopefully this sort of Seraph statue goes down quickly. I believe since he shot on an X sort of formation, yep, now it'll shoot in a cross. Then this time he'll shoot in an X. Okay, didn't need to see, because we were able to take him out. Thank you. And we have this guy. Why do we have this man here? This, this seems like a very odd boss to have here. The Carrion Queen, of course. We do still have a bomb. Oh, that was terrible. I tried to use a bomb and pressed the uh, wrong one. Now I'll use a bomb, though. Get some alright damage off on the Carrion Queen. I have faith in us to be able to see the boss. Good. The slowing effect is huge when we get it. Even though we can fly, we can still be hit by those red poops. Oh, perfect. She is now in her sort of bouncing off the walls stage. Which, in my opinion, is slightly easier. Especially if we can get these slows. 
keep on our spider bite. We just have to always keep her in our sights, which could be a bit of a problem because sometimes her bounces are a little bit sporadic. When we get that slowing effect, it is fantastic. Oh, that's what I mean by sporadic bounces, of course. Now we can head down and we can see the final boss. I don't have a lot of faith in us beating the final boss, but we can at least see it. It's something. Ultra Greed. We have a boss beforehand to see our damage. It is indeed Monstro. This is for scaling our damage against Ultra Greed. If we would destroy Monstro instantaneously, then Ultra Greed would have a lot of health. But if we would destroy Monstro relatively slowly, then Ultra Greed would have much less health. This is Ultra Greed. He is a pain in the cheeks. Bombs. Okay. That's not too, too bad. We don't want the bomb ones. Those aren't that bad. We got Lucky Toe. Again, the bomb ones aren't so bad. They just explode. There are a couple of ones that, of his coins that we have to watch out for. Those are the ones that we have to watch out for. His heart ones, we want to destroy as many as we can because he will get HP back from them. Which is a shame. We don't want him to be gaining HP. We want him to be losing HP, of course. That's absolutely fine. We don't have to do anything with those. May as well pick this up so that he doesn't. I believe if he picks up some coins, he gets some health back. Here he is spawning keys. These are the ones we really need to crack into. These are the really, really annoying ones. We can't let him get very many of these. Oh boy. Okay, well this is bad. Now he gets a ton of these creeper men here. And he will just shield himself until we take them all out. Fortunately, we're one-shotting the creeper men, which is odd. I didn't think we would be. Hearts. Hearts we have to go after as well. Ah, uh, he got a good amount of them. That's really bad. Keys. We want to go after the keys. These need to be slain. Perfect. We got all of them. Oh, we walked into them. We need to be better with the... Uh, when he spawns the hearts. We need to be better when he does that. That's what we're sort of getting destroyed by. The keys aren't so bad. We've been destroying the keys with relative ease, and we're dead. We do still... Oh, that was our last life. Well, there you go. JJ, VJ, JN, 3V, tons of Js. Hopefully you enjoyed. At least we got to see the final boss. Well, uh, next time we'll be doing a regular run. I hope you all enjoyed again, and I will see you guys next time.